How's it going family and BB here today I am bringing back an all-time favorite and that's anime news so if you are a veteran of the channel you'll know that I used to do anime news every week I want to bring that schedule back try and do every week or at least release a video every second week uh, things are still a little bit hickety pickety all over the place because I have a newborn baby this baby's 10 weeks old so I'm doing the best that I can to bring videos out to you guys as much as possible but still please just hang in there with me while I try and get back into the swing of things of doing videos and uh, being on YouTube again. With all that being said let's start off with the seasonal anime. So the new season of anime has just released and we have some great series coming out starting with the second season of Spy Family. So this series was a huge hit back when it released in 2022 and I know that a lot of people will be excited about the second season. Not only that, but the franchise is also getting a new movie, which will be coming out in December. That's called Spy Family Code White. And is also getting a game coming out in 2024 based around Anya. It looks like that the game at the moment is only on the Switch. Not 100% sure if it's releasing on other platforms. If it is, then uh, I'll update you guys closer to the time when it is releasing because we don't have a release date as of yet. But it looks like that this is going to be a life sim game following Anya as she fills out a photo book for her homework. Very cute. I think I'll probably try and pick it up. It sounds like the kind of game that I'll play. At the same time, it kind of feels like baby's first video game anime edition. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be fun. It does look adorable though. So uh, again, when it comes out in 2024, whatever the date is, I'll update you guys closer to the time. But Spike's Family does have a lot of cool things coming out. Goblin Slayer is also getting a second season. That released on the 6th of October, so first episode has also just released. I watched a little bit of Goblin Slayer. I can't actually remember if I watched all of it or if I dropped it, to be honest. Um, all I remember is there were some rapey goblins. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a very dark anime if you like dark fantasy then maybe check it out if you haven't done so already uh, from what I saw it was okay but the fact that I can't remember if I finished it shows how kind of unmemorable it was maybe I don't know let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed Goblin Slayer if you didn't enjoy Goblin Slayer tell me down there I'd like to know what your thoughts are now a series that seems to be pumping up sequel after sequel and prequel after prequel is Fully Cooly. There was a series called FLCL Grunge which released back in September. Uh, that is a prequel to the OVA and now there's a new series called FLCL Shoegaze which was released on the 1st of October. I haven't checked out any of the sequels or prequels or OVAs. Uh, back in the day I did watch the original series which I did a BB's pick on. This might have been going back oh, 2016 or so. So it was a very old video. Um, still getting my legs with uh, doing YouTube and making videos. So in my opinion, it's a little bit cringy. <laughs> but um, if you want to go and see that video, go and check it out. It's up there and down there. Konosuba is finally getting a third season. The series first released back in 2016 and everyone absolutely loved it including myself so I'm really excited about the third season but not only that uh, they are also getting a 10th anniversary uh, commemorative movie uh, we don't really have much information on the movie it's going to be releasing sometime in 2024 so when I find out more information about it I'll make sure to let you guys know Another series getting a third season is Uma Musume Pretty Derby. So the idle horse anime. <laughs> I checked this out back in the day when it released. It was perfectly fine, but it wasn't really to my taste. It seems to be really popular in Japan, like insanely popular. But yes, this is getting a third season. It released on the 1st of October. So first episode has released and uh, I don't think I'll be watching that one. So 
uh, let me know down in the comments below if you watch Pretty Derby and what do you think of it. A series that I really need to catch up on is Haikyuu. This series is going to be getting a movie. This is going to be its final movie, so uh, it looks like that the series is coming to a close with this. The movie's called Haikyuu at the Garbage Dump and is going to be releasing in February of 2024. This will be in Japanese theatres. Not 100% sure on when it's going to be getting a dub, or when it's going to be releasing in theatres, if it's even going to release in theatres in the West. Uh, I'm sure it probably will with how popular it was when it first released, uh, and it's still really popular. You still see people cosplaying the Haikyuu characters at Armageddon and like anime conventions and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, if it does come out in Western theatres, I'll update you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, there is going to be a movie, so I hope that you enjoy it. In gaming news, the Love Live spin-off series, Yohane Sunshine in the Mirror, is getting a game. So uh, this is going to be a deck-building roguelite game. The game's called Yohane Blaze in the Deep Blue, and the game's pretty much releasing on all the consoles, so the Switch, Steam, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox consoles. Uh, so all of these will be releasing on November 16th in Japan. No word as to if it's going to be getting an English release. I really hope it does because it does look quite interesting and uh, it's pretty cool to see that Love Live is still getting things like games and even more interestingly it's not based around music or rhythm <laughs> like all the other Love Live games. Which speaking of all the other Love Live games, uh, the old one that I used to play, Love Live School Idol Festival, is actually closed. Um, and I wasn't able to port my account over to the new game that will be coming out. Uh, don't have a lot of information on the new game. When we do, I'll update you guys on that. Uh, this is just a random side note to the Love Live franchise. Uh, it's still going strong, it seems like. <laughs> But if you are interested in this, there is a trailer showing off uh, the characters and their abilities and some of the gameplay and whatnot. So uh, there is a link down below to that trailer if you want to check it out. Meanwhile, a game that's getting a physical release in the West is My Next Life as a Villainous. All routes lead to doom. Now, I'm really excited about this, especially because it's getting a physical release. Uh, I really enjoyed the anime and... I really hope that the game is as interesting as the anime. The game's getting a limited edition which will be exclusively sold through the Idea Factory website. We don't know when the limited edition will be releasing, they'll be telling us more about it at a later date, but if you want to just buy the normal physical release or just buy it through the online store, it will be coming out on the 24th of November. A series that I'm in absolute love with, it's one of my all-time favourites, is the Atlea series and they've released the newest addition to the franchise and that's called Atelier Reslerina, Forgotten Alchemy and the Liberator of the Polar Night. So uh, this released earlier on in September, it's only out in Japan and there's been a bit of controversy about this one because it is essentially a MOBA. Uh, it's out on iOS and Android in Japan and is essentially a gacha. Now, in my opinion, I don't mind it being a gacha because I play Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, so um, I love gacha games. I used to play the old Love Live School Idol Festival game. Uh, gachas are fine with me, but there are a lot of people that just don't like the fact that they have released a gacha for the Atlea series. I hope this game does get an English release because I will definitely play it. Honestly, I'm still a little bit salty that uh, the Atelier franchise decided to go with the non-dubbing route instead of continuing on with dubbing each and every game in English. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, either way, I still love this franchise and uh, I feel like that they decided to do this gacha route as a bit of a break from making the mainline series because they've been pumping out the Atelier Riser games pretty quickly. Uh, it's up to the third game now, so I'm sure eventually they will announce that they're making the next installment after this. Hopefully, I will be very disappointed if they decide to just 
continue on with this game rather than uh, make more installments but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Another anime game coming out is Goblin Slayer. This is called Goblin Slayer Another Adventure Nightmare Fest and it's going to be on Steam and the Switch. This will be releasing on the 29th of February next year so uh, we are in a leap year next year <laughs> and uh, if you want to pre-order the game it will be coming up for pre-order on the 12th of October. In other news, Haruhi is getting another volume. This is going to be in the way of a light novel short. Uh, this will also have a prequel volume that will be coming out not long after that. Uh, unfortunately, we still have no information as to if we'll ever see any more Haruhi Suzumiya as an anime. They have so much in the way of content that they could make. It's such a shame that they haven't made anything more. I mean, the last series that was released was the Nagato series. And while that was cute, it wasn't what we wanted. I mean, we had the first season, which was amazing. Second season, which we don't talk about the second season. Endless 8, what was that? The movie was great. Uh, again, Nagato... Yuki Nagato anime was pretty cute but again not what we were looking for and uh, it would be wonderful if one day we got more. Did you know that there are actually anime fans out there that don't know who Haruhi Suzumiya is now because it's been that long? It's crazy to think <laughs> but uh, yeah it's exciting that the light novel series is still getting shorts so you never know one day we may have our dreams answered. And in figure news, Miss Kabuyoshi's Dragon Maid Lulu is getting a 1-6 scale figure. This is going to cost 24,800 yen and will be releasing in June of 2024. Sticking with the theme of Dragon Maid, we've got Alma who is getting a Nendoroid. This Nendoroid is going to cost 6,400 yen and will be releasing in January of 2024, which I think this is adorable and I would love to own it. <laughs> And lastly, we have got this one fourth scale figure of Kana from, yes, Dragon Maid. It is adorable. It's going to cost 33,000 yen. A little bit out of my price range, that's for sure, but she is just too cute. I wish I could own all of the Dragon Maid bunny versions because they are just gorgeous. It would be an amazing collection to own maybe one day I might have to put it on my grail list but yes uh, this will be releasing in July of 2024 so there you go guys that is all the anime news I have for you today what was your favorite article and what are you looking forward to please tell me down in those comments below I hope you did enjoy it I am looking forward to bringing this back to the channel let me know down in the comments below if you are looking forward to anime news coming back to the channel and uh, I hope that you guys have had a lovely day or night wherever you are. I will see you guys in the next video and uh, until next time from Motomeka, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and if you want to support what I do, consider donating through PayPal, becoming a member or joining my Patreon like Knights of the Hidden Realm, Bernard, Tracy and Bradley. They're all awesome biblioteers and you can become one as well. So from my to Mickey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and check out all my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.